Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Evan and today we're hopping into another episode of Madden 21's No Money Spent, you guys. Um, in today's episode, we're mainly just going to be hopping into, you know, some head-to-head -head games. But I do have a few, like, I guess, upgrades. They're going to be, actually, I'm going to be adding abilities to a few guys on the defensive line. So let me just go ahead and show you the two abilities I put on my D-line. So first off, before we could get these abilities, we obviously had to get some training, and I had a lot of, you know, guys sitting in my binder. So I think we sold Dev McCordy, Fitzgerald, Quinn Nelson, and Zach Ertz, but we used that training to get under pressure on both Leroy Glover and Jack Youngblood. I'm just hoping this really helps the defense out with, like, my pressure, so we'll see what it does, but I'm hoping that it just, like, improves overall defensive pressure from, uh, obviously my D-line. So yeah, you guys, like I was saying earlier in the video, I don't really have too many upgrades. The team is completely the same other than, you know, the two defensive abilities, but you guys see the offense and going to the defensive side of the ball, obviously still the same. And then we just added uh, under pressure for both Leroy Glover and Jack Youngblood, as I said earlier in the video. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into some more head-to-head -head games. Hopping into the game, you guys, that is his squad. Definitely does not look too bad as, like, Trey Swy is like an 87, so he's got chem boost, but that's my squad. Back at home, hopefully we get on track, uh, get back on track and get to 3-1. and one. I know it's pretty early in the game, but I just have a weird feeling about this game for some odd reason. Uh, just like kind of the way that he runs his offense, but it looks like this is what was PA Crossers as I just switched to cover 2. I messed up, I thought I was going to get clicked on to Minka, and he got himself a touchdown in 3 plays. So this is going to be a, uh, I don't know about fun one, but... It's going to be a tough one. If we get the loss. Would you look at that? We got ourselves a free win. He lagged out of the game. I'll knock, I'm not going to complain. We gave up a touchdown and still won the game. But let's go ahead and hop into another one. Hopping into the second game, you guys. We are on the road. We're playing the Jets. Uh, or I guess we're at the stadium. But, oh. He's got himself a squad. This, this is going to be a tough one. Yeah, this guy definitely looks like he's all about speed. I'm assuming that like when he's not going to actually run the ball, it's going to be some kind of like screen or something out of the I form, but I wouldn't be shocked if we're going to be seeing a lot of runs today. On third and seven, my opponent is once again coming out in the I form. I guess runners do runner things. He runs a stretch play here on third and long. I missed the tackle with Troy Aki and he makes me pay as he's breaking it downfield with Bo. Oh, God. This sucks. I'm giving this guy a dose of his own medicine. I'm not one to like run stretch all the time, but that's what I'm gonna be starting off with, just to kind of see if he if he doesn't like it as David Montgomery, he's got something to say as he breaks downfield for a huge game. Third down and four here. We're obviously in field goal range from like the one play, but I don't want to sell for three because I've obviously had issues stopping this guy's offense as we should have. No, don't tell me he picks that. Oh, I should have thrown that earlier, but I I'll take my three. To be honest, as long as I can make these tackles in open field, I feel like I'll be able to stop the run, or at least so I hope. Because I feel like my defense has lined up pretty well as I say that he once again breaks it free with Bo Jackson. He got a house call. You're kidding me, dude. Well, clearly we're going to have to be scoring um, touchdowns this game. I definitely am not going to be able to set settle for very more field goals here. Because my defense is having trouble stopping the run. I really wanted to test Tyreek, but I'm not going to throw it up. I'm just going to take Janu for the easy first down. Man, I thought single back. I thought I had something going there with single back off that one play from Janu, but clearly it's not working. So we're going to have to resort back to some slants. I should have Keenan. Yep. Oh, sit down. Keenan caught that. Wow, what a play, Keenan. I may have been lucky to catch that, but that, like, that was a heck of a grab by Keenan, so. I'm glad he got that, obviously. I'm going to dump this thing off to date. No! Russell! Bruh! You're kidding me! That's disgusting, dude. Honestly, it's I just got to start run committing. I got to start run committing. He just doesn't pass. This is the first time he's actually, like, motioned someone. I guess to the right. And you're kidding me. He literally tripped. This is ridiculous. I do have to say, it's a bit frustrating that I'm in Madden 21 and I can't stop the stretch, and EA claimed that they quote-unquote found a way to, like, fix run gaps or whatever, but I obviously am in, I, I probably have to score, like, every drive for the rest of the game, so 
Obviously, this drive is a must-needed score as he blitzes me, so I'm going to take David Montgomery out the backfield. He holds on to that. Go forward. Push. Break and tackles, David. Let's go. Oh, you got to love the two clock glitch. We're down to 10 seconds. I had to bring in Kyler because Russ was fatigued. Please hold on to that. Let's go, Tyreek. All right, we may have one shot at the end zone here. I got to be careful, though. He's been in cover three the last couple plays. I believe he just audibled out of it, but... I'm still going to run like the base kind of play as we're going to throw that thing to Jonu Smith and he gets in the end zone. That's a huge score. I'm going to have to get that two-point conversion eventually, so might as well just do it now. We're going to run a stretch with David, put that thing inside, and we got it. I'm going to be honest. I probably don't have the time to be running stretch. I probably need to be in like passing only, but I'm going to do it just because of how much this guy's frustrating me because that's all he's running, and David Montgomery is killing him in the stretch. As he's going all the way down to the 17-yard line. Let's go. Now this guy has gone from stretch, obviously. He's now running pinch buck O, which was like the beginning of the year Madden 20 defense that no one could stop. As we should have Diggsy, and I fumbled. You're kidding me, right? This is ridiculous. This is for real what I'm dealing with? That is so dumb. This is a huge play. I would think he would audible to the left side, so we're run committing over to the left. He passes... The first time he passes from the one yard line. This is ridiculous. Well, third and 12. I've ranked him at the past two plays and shocking that it, it worked. So, staying to the right side and <laughs> you're kidding me. <laughs> Hopping into a third game, you guys. I just felt like I need to get into another one because that... That last game was beyond frustrating, and I'm sure that wasn't fun to watch at all, so... Hopefully we get a win, because if we lose, <laughs> we're not in a good spot. After last game, I'm coming out in a stretch. I don't know why, just like, after last game, it was just a complete disaster. And David Montgomery had a huge game, let's go. Like I was trying to say on that last play, I really need to win this game, because we are 3-2, and two, so... Just being in that situation where we have to get that, like, to fight our way into the playoffs, like, like one and done. I don't want to be there this early, but big catch from Andre. Third and goal. I'm going to run a read option. Hopefully he bites so I can have some running room as he does bite. Russell Wilson in the end zone. Let's go. Second down and 11 after uh, that run in the backfield that got blown up. I'm going to use your Troy Apke, of course. He came out and gun bunch. I'm looking at that one streak over the middle to Tyreek. He's throwing right to big play Slay. Yeah, we're not having that today. First and 10 after big play Slay came up with a pick. And Andre Johnson absolutely cooked Sam Mills. And he's going all the way to the house. Andre Johnson, let's go. Man, hopefully this defense can come up with another big play because this offense is cooking right now. As he's going to look at the double crossers. Oh, all right. If I if I just back up those DBs, DBs a little bit, we will have that crosser locked. Like I said, I just got to put those curl flats back a, a little bit longer, and I should lock up the, the uh, the what are they called? The crossers as he runs the underneath route to the earth, and I went for too many hit sticks there. First and 10 here for my opponent. Um, I wish I could put Tredavious in a hard flat because... Actually, I'll just, I'll just play underneath. I would like to not have to do that to kind of guard these couple plays, but I don't really have a choice as he goes with the scramble for Lamar. But yeah, like I was saying on that last play, my opponent definitely knows how to uh, run some offense. I'm going to play underneath. Look for the running back. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky you got that off the cam. I dare you to throw that thing again. I dare you. Yeah, you're going to motion the other side. You're just going to run to the opposite side. It's, it's not going to be hard to guard. You're going to look at the... Un oh, that was a good pass. That was a, that was a hot one. All right, this should be a run to the outside. I'm run committing no matter what. As he gives it to the fullback, and that's another stop. Sam Mills. Man, we just stuffed him three times from the one-yard line. Let's just hope we can do it a fourth. This may actually be a pass, so let me get out of run commit. As he, as he does pass here, he goes, he looks over across, and he gets Tyree kill. Good pass. Third down and 10 here. To be honest, I don't want to give this my the ball back to my opponent because... He really dotted me up on offense last drive. I should have Diggsy wide open over the middle. There's no way you get back to that. Let's go, uh, Stefan. That was a big catch. Man, I really hope I don't regret doing this here. 
I feel like I should definitely just punt it away because, you know, if I don't get it, then he's got pretty good field positioning and he has been throwing some really good passes. I may have Andre Johnson, but I'm going to sit and wait. I should have thrown it. Um, I'm just going to have to chuck it on field. Tyreek, did he get that? Oh my God, Tyreek. I don't know how he caught that. That was a miracle and a half. Well, after Tyreek's amazing, amazing catch, we were able to get three, which is huge. So it's going to go into halftime with a 10 point lead. He is coming out in a formation he hasn't ran all game, which I guess kind of scares me considering how much he dotted me up last drive, but good, good play. Hurry up for my opponent here on third down and three. I'm playing my guys underneath. I would assume he's probably, oh, he goes to the out routes. Dang. It's not what you want to see. All right, he's coming out, and I think that's like the PA crosser formation. I'm not entirely sure. I wanted to get over to Troy Apke as my user. I didn't get him, though, as he looks deep. Don't tell me he got in bounds. What? How did he get his feet in? I look, he have, I have no idea how he was able to get his feet in bounds, but obviously nothing we can do about it. First and 10 from the 11-yard line. He's slowly marching down the field and threw a dot for a tutty. Third down and seven here. So far, he's really done a good job on defense this drive, and I'm worried that if I give him the ball back, we're going to be in a bad spot because he has dotted me up. Uh, for a while now and we, sh we have a lot of kind of over the middle stuff and we have Tyree Kill over the middle making people miss for a big gain in a first man I'm not gonna lie you guys I've definitely struggled a little bit against my opponent he's coming out and I think I think he's running cover two man oh I wanted to test Tyreek I just did not know if he was gonna be open that was really dumb <laughs> that was really stupid dang my opponent is running hurry up offense here on third down and five. This is a huge play if we can, he's probably gonna have to go for it on fourth, but if we can force him into a fourth down situation, that'd be huge, but he goes to the run and Cam Akers went right up the gut. This is 100% my opponent's game to lose. I'm, I'm really having trouble stopping his offense at the moment. Oh, I thought he was gonna look underneath, but he goes to the out route to Tyreek. This is not looking good. All right, it's getting close here. I'm, I'm honestly getting worried as he goes back to the inside zone. Yeah, he is just wasting clock, and he is kicking my butt right now. Not going to lie, this is low-key play of the game. Um, I don't think he's going to run. Yeah, he's not. He's going to. I'm guessing he's going to continue to look at the underneath stuff. The last few times he's looked at Ed McCaffrey, I knew exactly where he was going. Troy Abke, let's go. I knew that that's the play he's gone to all game down in the red zone. Let's go. This is incredibly dumb. This is incredibly dumb. This is incredibly dumb. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to run with the stretch. David, seal the game, David Montgomery. Oh, my God. That was a gutsy play call. That was a gutsy play call. I'm not taking any risks. I'm taking the knee, and I'm going to come out of here with a W. Honestly, that was one of like, the most nerve-wracking decisions I had to make because, like, if I don't get that, he's in really good position. So I just wanted to end the game, and I, I thought I was going to catch him off guard, and I did. And we're going to come out of this game with a dub, so that was huge. Well, you guys, that was a very action-packed episode. Obviously, that first game, we got very lucky and got ourselves a win after that guy got kicked out. Second game was a disaster. He ran stretch, and that third game just came down to the wire, so... I really hope you guys all did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new, and make sure to also hit that bell notification to be notified for future no money spent episodes. With that being said, I really hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, you guys.